In an effort to help bolster the roster due to injury, the Jets have brought in Kalen Bellage and Dante Moncrief. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Monday, I'm going to be taking the night off. No Monday call and show this week. Tuesday, we'll be back with the live Talking Jets panel, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Matt is subbing out for Joe Blewett, so Joe is going to be on from Jets X Factor along with myself and Green Bean, so make sure to tune in for that to answer all your Jets questions. Let's talk about some of the additions that the Jets have made over the last few days to help bolster their roster with all the injuries and everything that have been going on in camp. First up is Kalen Balaj, the running back from the Miami Dolphins. He was selected in 2018, a fourth-round pick by Adam Gase. Averaged 5.3 yards per carry in 2018 with Adam Gase. However, one of those plays went for 75 yards, and when you factor that in, he really only had 3.3 yards per carry outside of that one play. So not really the best. Pro football focus-wise, you know, sub-60 in both categories, not really the best. I think he's really just a body while we're trying to, you know, preserve some of the guys of our own. I know there was a lot of hole to do with the uh, Le'Veon Bell missing a few reps because of a, a tight hamstring with a little Adam Dr- Gase drama with him. Uh, and people were thinking, oh, my God, is he going to get traded? I, I don't think so. I think we're holding on to Bell for the year. Um, Kalen Balaj is not going to be taking any uh, any reps away from Bell, I don't think. Um so overall, uh, Kalen Balaj, not too thrilled with this. I think he's probably a player that we're going to wind up moving on from uh, as we get closer to, to cut down day. Secondly, we have Dante Moncrief, the wide receiver, originally from the Indianapolis Colts, went to Carolina, played in Pittsburgh last year very briefly. Uh, all right, about six foot two. Uh, his best season he had was back in 2015. He had 700 yards and six touchdowns. Uh, you're really not going to get a whole lot out of this guy. It seems like he's pretty injury prone or at least has missed a lot of time over the last few years. So really has not broken out the way you would otherwise have hoped uh, after that second year. That was you know pretty good. Pro football focus grade wise, uh, you could see he did well when he was with the Colts and then really after that kind of fell off the map. So not a good season last year. Remember, they didn't have Big Ben over in Pittsburgh. So maybe that's something you kind of hang your hat on. One thing that uh, Jets fans can, I don't know, I guess kind of be a little upset about or sort of happy about because he's not going against us anymore, Moncrief had two of his five best games against the Jets. 2015, week two, five catches, 122 yards, one touchdown. That was his second best career game. And 2018, week four with the Jags, five catches, 109 yards, and a touchdown. So (laughs) at least he's not going against us this year. Um, Sort of, I don't know. We have just so many injuries on this wide receiver court. You're losing out on, like right now, Perriman's not playing, Mims isn't playing, uh, Vincent Smith's not playing. You just lost uh, Jeff Smith to some type of injury earlier today. So it just seems like we just need bodies at this point. Overall, both these players, I don't really expect them to make the final roster. Uh, When you look, September 5th is going to be cut down day by 4 p.m., so a lot of players are going to be hitting the open market. Teams have to cut down from their roster size of, what, like 80 players down to 53 players. So there's going to be a lot of players that are hitting that open market that I think the Jets are probably going to target, and we could probably find better players at wide receiver or maybe running back if we so, you know, if we so choose. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I don't think these guys are really going to be on the roster, so I don't think it's too much to be worried about. But alas, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets.